Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from Masaya, Nicaragua. Today, I'm going to take you to see one of the most traditional dishes that you have to try when you come to Nicaragua. It's called bao. It's beef, yuca, sweet plantain, green plantain, onions, tomatoes, green pepper, and it's all steamed. Oh my gosh, this is going to be amazing. Super unique experience. Exactly. Go, my friend. To Tate Bao. Okay. ¿Cómo estás? Todo bien. Todo bien. Bienvenido a Bao Vilma. Gracias. Bienvenido al Bao Vilma. Gracias, amiga. The whole staff here welcoming me. This is amazing. Listo. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás, amigo? Listo. Hola. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Hola. Buenas. Okay. Ya no he desayunado nada. Solo café. Mucho café esta mañana. Mucho café. Sí, muchísimo café. And here we go. All the ingredients to make the bao. First, over here we have marinated cow, right? So they marinate it with a few different ingredients. They also throw some onions, tomatoes, uh, green pepper, and that's basically it, right? Over here we have uh, so plantains. We have oranges. We have peppers, tomatoes, cassava or yuca. Yuca en español, right? We have onions. We have spring onions. Y estamos listos. A la yuca primero, la carne, maduro, plátano, se leche y da revuelto con todo el condimento. So the way to start the bao is you got to peel the yuca or the cassava. So she peeled one entire one, right? As you can see the inside's beautiful white. Then after that she grabs two plantains, a sweet one and the green one. The green one's a little more bitter. The sweet one is super sweet, right? So she peels all of it, puts it into this bowl. Y ahora, ¿cómo hacemos? Ahora prepararlo. Ahora esto se prepara aquí, aquí y allí. Así. ¿Ah, ahora sí. Ahora eche el balde de agua. Echásemelo por favor. Agua. Y todo, ¿no? Páseme la hoja. So, y eso es para que para darle más sabor. Es para el vapor. Para el vapor, para, para que, que vapor. no se le vaya el agua. First thing they did is they put the guayaba stems in and they made it like a little, almost like a barbecue setting, right? In terms of how it's laid out. And then they fill up with water. Obviously, this is a vapor, so vapor, steamed, steamed plate. Now she's adding uh, banana leaves, right? Wow, esto va a ser riquísimo. Y esto se echa todo abajo para que ella agarre sabor. Sí, ¿no? Pero toda la yuca estaba sentado en agua por cuánto tiempo? Eh, en cuanto se pela, se lava. So now she's adding all the yuca. So it's like, I'd say a hundred pieces of yuca. Look at that. Literally filled to the rim. Se ve rico esto. Está durísimo, ¿no? Durísimo. Yeah, yuca cassava is super yeah. hard. After the yuca comes the maduro and the green plantain. So sweet plantain and green plantain. She just fills it up, right? So it's another like 20 pieces. So a lot of yuca, then you have like 20 pieces of plantain and now they're gonna add all the meat. Comienzas, vale, perfecto. Esta es la carne, carne de pecho. De pecho? Sí. De res? De res. This is the calf chest. Este es lo calf gordito chest. que lo comemos, mire. Mm -hmm. Se ve delicioso. So you have a lot of fat areas, but then it's very, very meaty. So you have a mix, right? Fat and meat. Oh, it's gonna be so good. This dish is gonna be phenomenal. Oh, uh, now she's gonna add tomatoes, peppers, onions. Of course, this is Doña Vilma. So she's been making this dish since she was 16 years old, since she got married. Before that, her grandmother would send her out to sell it. So she's like, it's a multi-generational dish, right? She's making it with love for, ¿Cuántos años tienes tú? Perdón si te pregunto. 52 años. 52 años, so like over 40 years she's been making it. I've never seen something like this in my life. This is amazing. Estoy listo para comer esto. Sí, está bien. Una más grande, pero ahí va bien. Sí, está bien así? Esa era, esa era, eh. Ay, no, 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 ya, ya. So in an hour and a half, they'll check this water. So because it's it's vapor, you don't have to add water. But if they see it's too low, they'll add a little bit more. It's a straight up steamed dish. Wow, me encanta esto, el proceso todo, and I love the grill. And I mean the the fire under it. Eso es una llanta. So not the tire, it's the rim of the tire. Okay, now that we saw the whole process, we're going to the restaurant to eat. We're gonna try a few other things as well, not just about. But <laughs> I can't wait for this one. It's gonna be so good. So if you try the vigoron in Granada, 
similar, but obviously different because this is beef, not pork, and it's steamed. But yeah, always yuca based. A comer. Vamos a comer. Tú. Tú, yeah, claro. In the sun. Yeah. Hello, Masaya. Mira, Hello, tienen Masaya. buñuelos ahí. Sí. See, this is all our dessert. Very popular in Nicaragua. It's like macaroons, sugar. The buñuelos, that's actually uh, yuca. No, it's just coyolitos, but buñuelos, there's a buñuelos. sign right there. That's what we had yesterday. It's like a yuca dumpling fried with honey. One straight away, and here we have it. Bao Vilma. Bao. Bao Vilma. And they spell it differently. It's B A H O or V Victor A H O. Right when you enter the restaurant, here they have the bao. Look at this beautiful, it's still steaming. Ay, caliente, no? Caliente. Wow, it's like bubbling at the very bottom. You have the yuca, you have all the layers, right? So think of like a mixed layered yuca plantain beef dish. That's what this is. Mira, agarro algo. Puedo. Pedazo de carne. It's like yuca in that. Mmm. La yuca puede probar, es que. La yuca también. Sin gordura no hay sabor. Así. Yo siempre lo veo así, ¿no? Wow, <laughs> this, this dish is blowing my mind. Now she, so she served me a mix, right? Yuca plantains, beef, and now she's gonna add a repollo right there. Mm -hmm. Nice repollo on top, so cabbage salad. Sí, sí, un chilito. Y ahí tenemos el plato. David, vamos a comer. Vamos, vamos. This is her restaurant. Love this. So, oh, get for the head. Cualquiera. Mira, vamos a la luz. I love this restaurant. Very rustic, beautiful. Look at this. Está servido, ya. Yeah. Está servido. Estamos listos. Listo. Tengo hambre. A desayunar. Ok, <laughs> yo estoy listo. Al fin. El bao. Bao, bao, bao. bao. Finally. <laughs> bao, 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 bao. <laughs> hey, so, ¿cómo right. empezamos aquí? Ok. La yuca y la carne. Mm -hmm. So, cortamos un poco de aquí. Mm -hmm. Love it. It's a huge mix of flavors Cheers. here. The chest of the cow. The chest. Not even of the cow, of the calf. Mm -hmm. So the reason why the calf is so good is because it only had milk in its lifetime. Mm -hmm. That is the difference, right? Cheers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. That meat is so tender. Mm. The yuca. The yuca. It like amazing. falls apart. Mm -hmm. It falls apart. Oh my gosh, gotta get in here. You get more, right? Mm. <laughs> no, esto es mm. another incredible dish in Nicaragua. My friend put uh, chile. Chile? Mm -hmm. Just drip it everywhere. Si, si, si. Get this piece of beautiful beef. You gotta cut in here, right? Nice fat. And we also have the yuca. Now, you should get some of the maduro, right? So mix everything. A big bite, right? Mira eso. Dale, you can. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's amazing. How do you feel? I mean, mm -hmm. the contrast with the sweet plantain. Mmm. So I had sweet plantain, I had yuca, and the beef. The beef is unreal. Mm. I mean, that process just is so cool. You know, the, the steamed beef, you know? Not boiled, not fried, mm -hmm. not grilled. Exactly, for three hours. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Y ahora mezclo todo. Mm -hmm. Like that's allowed, right? Oh, exactly. Just to mix it all. This beef. It's so just uh, incredible, man. Mm -hmm. Flavors. And if you want, get some of the tomato. Yeah. So when do you usually eat bao? Whatever you want. All the time you have bao and masaya or one of the favorite di Nicaraguan dishes. Mm -hmm. Yes, all day if you want, you can eat bao. Like right now we're having breakfast, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Turn in the morning. If you want breakfast, you want dinner, you want lunch. And let me ask you, so is it mainly in Masaya or this is a, a regional mm. dish or the whole country? The whole country. The whole country. But bao Vilma is one of the best in Nicaragua. You, you feel it? It is one of the best dishes I've had mm -hmm. on this trip. Mm -hmm. Wow, I mean the flavors, right? Mm -hmm. mm. I personally love yuca. Mm -hmm. I, I, to be honest, my favorite yuca is fried yuca, mm -hmm. but now steamed is amazing. amazing. Yeah, because I don't love boil too much. Mm -hmm. Así sí. Mm. 
artiste. <laughs> Love artiste. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen any of my other content, artiste is a cow mm -hmm. and corn. That's it. Yeah. So imagine a chocolate corn drink. Mm -hmm. Always served in the calabash seed, right? Mm -hmm. They do this traditional style, right? So they carve it. This is another cool souvenir you can take. So I bought it in where? In Leon? In Leon, in Leon. Yeah, but here in the market, every ah, market has market, it. Yes. Every market. Masaya, especially. Oh, it's amazing. I'm so happy so to good. be here, man. So happy. <laughs> Nicaragua. I happy you really, enjoyed it. Dude, I'll tell you, Nicaragua is mm -hmm. completely different than what I thought. Mm -hmm. It is so Why? much more. Yeah. It's que la gente. The people is warm. The people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't just do bao here at Bao Vilma. They also have a few different plates. Traditional yeah, plates. Traditional right? plates. A, a plate you can eat uh, gallo pinto, at night carne asada, fritanga, mm -hmm. or you can eat in your viejo. Like yeah. this, right? Yeah, like this. <laughs> oh my goodness. I know, right? So here we have... You're a magician. <laughs> <laughs> we have gallo pinto, we have the tortilla, you can actually hear them in the back making it right now. Yes. And then over here we have yogurt. Lechagria. 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 That's yogurt. No, it's no. like a yogurt, but it's traditional yogurt, Nicaraguan yogurt. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's more like a watered down yogurt. Uh -huh. It's not that thick. It's milk. And it's not, uh, it's not sweet, right? No, it's not sweet. It's not sweet. It's like a cream, mm -hmm. but it's lechagria. Lechagre. It's like a yogurt, but natural. Don't have anything. And if you can't fight the heat, drink this. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So yeah, here we, we go. Entonces, the best way that Nicaraguan eat this, if you put the chagria on top of the gallo on pinto. On top of the gallo pinto. Okay. And after, eat it. Just like that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Do it. Never tried gallo pinto like that. Mm -hmm. Just gotta add this on top, right? Pongo sal. Si, si, ponme sal. Yeah. Dale, movela, we're, gonna, we're gonna mix in yeah. some salt in here. Get this. Mix it in. Eat. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> the best gallo pinto of all time. Mmm. <laughs> this the milk runs right through it. Mm -hmm. mm. It's a creamy gallo pinto. Yeah, creamy gallo pinto le with lechagre. Entendemos la tuya. ¿Qué hacemos? Cortita. Así. Y es como un taco. Así es como un taquito o, o te comes. Comes separ mm -hmm. separado. Así. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna do it like this. It's good. <laughs> it's more than good. Incredible bao. Best gallo pinto ever. <laughs> no, sí. In Nicaragua, this uh, breakfast is popular. All Nicaraguan people eat gallo pinto at morning, gallo pinto at night. But the plus, the, the plus perfect is lechagria. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> es que no puedo terminar. Nica breakfast. Nica what breakfast. are you going to do when I'm gonna go to Miami. go back home? Sí. <laughs> no, there's, there's Nica places in Miami. Mm -hmm. And you know, I really haven't done it, mainly because mm -hmm. I want to go to Nica first, you know? Mm -hmm. Mmm. This is the spot, guys. <laughs> mm. You know, I have a, a few rice dishes I love. Gallo Pinto is up there, top three. Top three? Ah, uh, yeah. what, what is, what is? I want to oh, know. Oh, oh, man. Briani, <laughs> risotto, mm. uh, risotto and paella, and Gallo Pinto. Okay, perfect. <laughs> top five. Mm -hmm. But Nika style. Nakosta, Nakuba. No, please. Nakuba and Nakosta. Come on. This style's better. You know why I like this one more? Mm -hmm. Because of the red beans. Red beans. Red beans. And Gallo Pinto is Nika. Lo demás son copia. Don't tell anybody else that. <laughs> dun, ta -da -da, dun, dun, merengue. It's merengue, pero it's called eh, espumilla. And then next to it, Cajeta we have de coco. Cajeta de coco. Black. So and pink. So it's basically like a cookie made mm -hmm. of coconut and sugar. Pesa con espumilla. Pero rompo. Dale, dale, mordela. Mmm. Mmm. Coño. Está bueno. Bueno, bueno. Buenísimo. 
No, like it pops open. Eat it. Oh, it like falls apart, like chalk. The inside is like creamy inside, a yes. little bit. It's so soft. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Eso. Vamos a meter un pedacito. A ver, un pedacito. Un pedacito. <laughs> inside, oh, I just go in here, look, look. Saca todo esto. Mm -hmm. para adentro, está buenísimo. Mm. Como, it crumbles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So airy. Buñuelas. Why would they do this to me? <laughs> I have to try this one first. So I'm, so I'm gonna try. This is a um, brown sugar, no? Sí, yes. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Pink. Great coconut. Condensed with sugar. Pack. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh. Demasiado bueno. Todo. No puedo más con eso. Okay. Buñuelos. So this is yuca dumplings. Dumplings. Inside, super soft. Outside, golden brown. And then they add honey on top. Ooh, they're hot. Mmm. <laughs> you know, it reminds me of like, it has cheese. Yeah, cheese. Tiene queso. Like cassava, ¿sí? Oh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Some people uh, put inside okay. uh, cheese. And other people only yuca. Okay, because ayer in my viejo ranchito they didn't add That's cheese. It. No tuvieron queso. Solo cazaba. I love it. Love it? I love With it. Cheese. With cheese. With cheese, even better, guys. <laughs> it literally just oozes out. Look, and you just dunk it down here into the honey. Let it suck up that honey. Mmm. 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 <laughs> Muy bueno. Buenísimo. This is a must try when you come to Nicaragua. Mm -hmm. Mm. They're so good at having a second. Oh my gosh. You can't stop. <laughs> I can't stop. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you drown it, mm -hmm. it absorbs all that honey. Look at this. Last bite. Okay. Sugar rush. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey. Salud. Salud. Vilma. <laughs> That's good. Ice cold. All right, guys, we're gonna go into the kitchen and see them making the tortillas. And here we're making the corn tortillas. As you can see, huge block of dough here. Every few minutes, she'll grab a piece, she'll put it on, she'll put it onto this, the flattener, right? She has like two pieces of plastic. She rolls it out, she flattens it, she just keeps pressing it down, makes it super, super paper thin. And from here, they're gonna go onto this little griddle, right? So the flat top, super hot. Gassi, gassi. Cassie. Look at all the plantains. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look how many tortillas. These are for tacos, but obviously you can use it for gallo pinto. You can do whatever you want with it. Just use it to eat. No? Sí. Para comer. Sí. Todo. Sí. Mias, gracias, gracias. Gracias. Gracias, muy amable. Está bien, gracias. Hasta luego, hasta luego. Right when you walk into the restaurant, you have to get some of these sweets. This is what we just tried at the table. You can take it home, right? So you have like the merengue. You have the, you know, those coconut cookies. You have a few other ones as well. You have these huge like lollipops. Look at this. Beautiful lollipops. Look at I went to style. They're very nice. Oh, it smells great. Candy. Straight up candy. Wow. Hermana, gracias por todo. Gracias, gracias. She's the owner as well. That's the daughter of La Doña. La Doña. Gracias, gracias por todo. Gracias. Doña. Gracias por todo. Encantado. Bueno, bueno. Demasiado. Where are we going next? We're going to see the mask maker, man. Vamos. Yeah? Yes. Come on. Mask makers. So again, this is the town that makes the mask. If you see the mask anywhere else in the country, they come from right here. Let's do it. Oh yeah. <laughs> so incredible. This town is a town of textiles, arts and crafts. Look at this. Hammocks. This whole neighborhood is just hammocks, uh hammock people, right? So they create hammocks. Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't know what you would call a ha hammock maker, but it's awesome. So you have red, green. Hamakero. Hamakero, hamakero. Look at this, amazing. I'm not buying a hammock on this trip. Maybe next one. Next time I come, straight to Managua, drive over here, 35 minute drive, so buy my hammocks, and then go back to Miami. And here we are at the Handcraft House. So that's the house right there, right? What? Buenas, ¿qué tal? Nos vamos a estar esperando. Eh. Vamos a ver las máscaras. 
Come Look at that, guys. This is a school for people that want to make handcraft. This is amazing, yes. guys. Like I bought some masks yesterday, mm -hmm. but look at yes. look at this, this look, wall. Look, look. So this is an exhibition hall, and it's also a gift shop. So if you want, you can take any of these home. I bought some yesterday. I bought five, and it was like ten dollars each. Obviously, that's inside the market, but this is where they make them. So here you get a better deal. I like some of these like scary ones, like these. Se ve bien, no este. Me encanta este. Too many. Which one do you think I should take? I don't know. I like. I like the toucan. Yeah, the, the toucan, you have a few scary skulls. The monkey. The monkey. Mira los pequeños. Uh, Son lindos, no? <laughs> Lindísimos. Tiger mask. Tiger, I mean, they're all awesome. And they're real masks. You can actually put it on. Guys, let me show you. Let me put one on. Puedo poner este? Mm-hmm. Se quita o no? Try it. All right, let me show you this. Let me drop the hat. Ooh, scare. <laughs> sort of. Scary, scary. <laughs> Don't go to the market. Come here. Buy them here. <laughs> it's so cool. So we're going to the workshop area yeah. to see them making the mask. So those are made up out of paper mache. The ones I bought yesterday are all wood. That's the difference, right? Yeah, sí. Yaki? Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, bien. Ah, ese es de madera. Sí, de madera. Mira, madera. Está tallando un viejo. Un viejito. Okay. Como yo. <laughs> Que ya tengo 36 años, para mí eso es viejes. Voy a, voy a comprarme una maleta extra. So here he's making an old man. It's a, so it's a wood carving. ¿Y cuánto tiempo dura para hacer todo esto? Un día. Un día. Todo completo, sí, allá ya eran acabados, sí. Un día. Yeah. It takes an entire day for him to carve one. Yeah, yeah. So the, the wood ones are way more expensive, obviously, it's an entire day of work for him. And over here, he literally has you know, the instructions of how he does it, right? Bendito Dios. So this, you have the face and you have the horse. The horse is the one you have to buy, which is right here. ¿Está listo este? Sí, está listo. Sí, está listo. So yo ya compré uno. We're going to the other uh, mask maker, but the, with paper. Made the mask with paper, yes. So he was making a mask out of wood. She's making a mask out of paper mache. Paper mache. I personally like the wood one more, just because it's heavier. <laughs> better, sturdier. They just finished making the paper mache mask. As you can see, the process is very, very complex. So they use paper mache, they mold it, and they bring it out here and they let it sit in the sun for three days. Yes, 72 hours. Once that's done, then they start painting. And that's what we have in the showroom, right? Vamos a comprar. Vamos, 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 vamos. Painting. Oh, they're painting here. I'm messing with them, I'm messing with them. I mean, it's a great deal, $10 for each paper mache mask. In Africa, it'll cost you $100. Just the way it is. Super affordable here in Nicaragua. Highly recommend coming out here and getting yourself a gift for you, for your family, for friends, for fans. Now the problem is, which one do I take? I might have to say like five or 10. Let's see, let's see. Thinking, maybe the toucan. I feel like the toucan is a must. Como este? Estoy pensando en mis hijas. I'm gonna take this for my daughter. She wanted a toucan. I think I'm gonna take this one for my other daughter. So two can, and then this one's cool. <sighs> For the girls, these two, I want to take maybe one of these skulls. Okay. Es que, es que hay muchos. Hay demasiados. <laughs> es difícil. <laughs> es muy difícil. I mean, these are cool. Some of these are very scary. Like this is like, I don't know. For Halloween, I'd probably wear one of those. But I might just take this guy because he's like awesome. No? Mm -hmm. Okay, me llevo este también. Okay. So it's gonna be like a... La Muerte. La Muerte. La Muerte Kirina es esa. La Muerte Kirina este. La Muerte Kirina. So you got two uh, birds. When it's, when it's October in Nicaragua, in the United States you celebrate Halloween. Oh, we celebrate Awisotes and the people dancing on the street with this mask scare at night. So good, man. You have to come. I will come back for that. <laughs> okay, me llevo estos tres. So ¿Cuánto es en total? 800, 800, so 800 roughly right now. It's like 36 exchange, so talking about right under 25, 26 dollars, something like that. Sí, es que para ellos, para ahí, en sus cuartos. Y yo me voy a, me voy a disfrazar, disfrazar así. Amigo, gracias. Gracias. Gracias, amiga. Muy amable. Dale, dale. Gracias. Bye. In tour, in tour. Nos vemos. Búsquenlo en YouTube.
We yeah. did it. We did it. Masaya. We did the bow. At bow Vilma. Bow Vilma, yes. Incredible. Mask. Mask. I mean, this is an amazing experience. We did this in the morning. We got here like at 9 in the morning. When we had the bow, then we came here. It's only 11.15 in the morning. A must do. If you're ever headed from uh, either Managua to Granada or opposite, stop here and do that. But there's so much more to see. You can also yeah. do the market. I mean, this is a place that doesn't end Masaya. Masaya, Nicaragua. Guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. We'll see you in the next travel food adventure somewhere here in Nicaragua. Let's go.